let's go over the technique for locating intercostal spaces for auscultation of the heart. All five areas should be auscultated. The sounds are generated by valve closure and are best heard where blood flows away from the valve instead of directly over the valve area. When auscultating from base to apex, palpate the first rib and then move down to palpate the space between the first and second ribs. This is the first intercostal space. Continue palpating downward to the space between the second and third ribs. This is the second intercostal space at the right sternal border, the auscultatory site for the aortic valve area. This is not the anatomic site of the aortic valve, but the site on the chest wall where sounds produced by the valve are heard best. Moving to the left side of the sternum, at the second intercostal space, the area for auscultating the pulmonic valve area is found. Remaining at the left sternal border, move the stethoscope down to the third intercostal space which is called herbs point, an area to which pulmonic or aortic sounds frequently radiate. The fourth intercostal space, it's on the left sternal border, is over the tricuspid valve area. At the fifth intercostal space, move the stethoscope laterally to the left midclavicular line where the mitral valve area is located. This is where you will hear the true apical. But usually when we are saying count or find the apical pulse, you will be just finding good lub-dub sound on left chest area of the patient and count that for full one minute. Okay, now I'll be listening to uh, five different spots there, uh, different landmarks, okay? And I'll uh, name the names at the same time. I'm going to warm it up. You're going to feel my hands there. So this is aortic, second intercostal space, right sternal border. Pulmonic. Herbs point, tricuspid, now I need to go to the mitral for that. Uh, I'm going to have you move your breast tissue up a little bit so that I can uh, listen underneath. I'm just going to move your hand up a bit. And mitral is... Uh, point of maximal impulse. And that's the true apical also. 